Welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I demonstrate stamping up products. Today I'm going to show you this really adorable easel card and it's the shape of a flower pot as you can see and it is using the brand new stamp set that is called Happiness Abounds. So I saw this card on Pinterest by Gail Ellis and she used a different stamp set. I think it was Daisy Lane. And I just thought, wow, this would be perfect for this particular card because, of course, the um, flowers and all. And it's in a flower pot. So this video will be three parts. The first part, I will focus on making the base. The second part, I will show some stamping and coloring. And the third part, basic assembly. So let's get started making our base. So here I have a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of paper. I'm going to bring in my trimmer and do some scoring. So I am going to line this up at three inches, score, and then move it down to five and a half. And this, by the way, is the brand new Starry Sky paper. We'll set that aside temporarily and we will burnish the score lines. So here we go. And then I will do it the opposite way just to make sure we have a good, and this one will be a mountain fold. So I will do it like this. Now it, this isn't half, which is a little different than what you might expect, but it will work out perfectly in the end. So the next part will be bringing in a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to attach this right to here, to this piece only. So you will need your liquid glue, which I'm having trouble locating mine, which I know I have it here. Where did I set it? Okay. Well, I would not recommend snail. So let's just add some of the tear and tape since I seem to have misplaced my liquid glue which I definitely is my first choice always just add some and this will definitely work though the tear and tape snail not so much it's not strong enough for this sort of thing I think okay so this part is super easy all I'm going to do now is line this up straight so here we go. Ooh, that's a little tricky. That's why I like the liquid glue because you have that little wiggle room. Okay, so now the easel part is working, as you can see. And we can start assembling the next part. So the next part is your um, DSP. You will need some DSP to make your flower pot. So I will bring that in. Should have had this out. Okay, so here is my paper that I'm going to use. And I just wanted to show something really quick. And that is, you do not want to cut from here to here. You want to do the wide side. So this particular measurement, let me just double check this. So the flower pot is two and three fourths by three and a quarter. So you're going to cut in here and here. So one of the things I suggest doing is going ahead and tick marking it. So bring in a ruler and here's my pencil, yay. I have too many things on this table, that's my problem. Okay. And measure right at half inch and another half inch in here. So there we have it as you can see now I'm going to quickly bring back in my um, trimmer and we're going to trim this so it will fit okay I'm going to set that over there I will get this so it shows so I'm just putting it in that well and then lining this one up so there that looks good and then cutting it off so for this one I'm just going to turn 
and I'm going to cut I would not suggest cutting from the point up but the other way so there we have it and then cut down so what we're left with is something that resembles a flower pot which is what we want okay so next part is gluing this onto the base right here now you want to make sure you get it all the way down to the bottom and I am just going to go ahead and use some of my snail and then I before we do the main assembly I will grab my liquid glue which I have no idea how that got misplaced <laughs> That's just silly. So I'm just going to do my best to center this. I'm eyeballing it. I'm not measuring anything. And there we go. I think it could have been a little bit to the left, but it's really not going to matter too much in the end. So that is what it looks like so far. Now um, I embossed with the brand new, um, it's the brand new embossing folder called Fern. And I did want to take a second to talk about that a little bit. So this is what the case looks like. And I did emboss and sponge over on Parakeet Party. We're not going to be using this today, but I just wanted to show just how beautiful this brand new embossing folder is. But of course, with this one, I want it much more subtle. So I'm just going to go ahead and add up here, and then we will, um, I will speed things up and show some stamping. Okay, so I wanted to show a little bit about the coloring. I um, am not an expert colorer by any means, but I wanted to somewhat recreate this. This is more like a no line that is part of the DSP and it is just gorgeous. But eventually I will run out of these die cuts. I did a whole bunch. There were two sheets of the Hughes and Happiness DSP that had um, these images that I die cut out. I backed them onto cardstock. So we're going to try to recreate a little bit. So I wanted to show this briefly. I do have all the colors listed here, but again, I'm not an expert and this will be just a little bit of a demonstration and hopefully you'll find it a little bit helpful, but don't um, take it like I'm some type of guru here. <laughs> I just wanted to show what I did to kind of um, re replicate some of these colors. Okay, so we're going to start with the pink, rose pink, and move on. So the colors I will bring in, and you can see them here, and I will speed this next part up.
Okay, so now is the fun part, which is to decorate. I will start by doing a dry layout. So I'm going to do a little different color pattern, but somewhat the same. So I have some images here. And what you basically want to do is arrange it the way that it doesn't look too matchy-matchy, but still kind of fills in the space and looks good. So no tall, that's a no small order, but as you can see, it's not too bad. And I'm going to add this one in here. So basically the same layout is my first card with a few exceptions. So I will go ahead and um, just use glue dots for this because I don't want to move it around. Now this is the DSP, but the bottom one we're this time instead of using um, the here, instead of using the DSP, we're going to be using um, the colored images that I just did. So that's kind of exciting and it kind of a, a new challenge when you do the coloring and all that. I hope you enjoyed seeing the coloring. Um, again, I'm not an expert, but I thought I had some decent ideas on how to get it to look pretty cool. Now, this one I will pop up. So I'm bringing in a dimensional. Actually, I'm just going to set it on because we have a lot of height here. So I'm going to... So that one we're going to just... Oh, I see this one has a few issues. Uh, do I have a replacement? Uh, yeah, this one looks a little smoother. It's just a little bit there. I didn't do a great job when I was um, die, die cutting it. So that one looks a little better. Now, what I do with these leaves is just tuck them up in. So that... I got a bit much glue on that one, and we don't want seepage. <laughs> we do nev never want seepage. Okay, so I want it to just kind of like it's cascading. There we go. I'm gonna add this little leaf. This one, there wasn't a die cut for it, but it was very easy to just um, fussy cut out of the DSP. And why not? Because sometimes you want just a little bit. Now I do have four. Um, flowers here but I think that it still looks good because you have just the three leaves so the next part I will speed up and then I will talk a little at the end Okay, so here is our final product, and I think it's just gorgeous, this potted easel card. So if you agree, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have any stamping needs, please email me at mewants3 at gmail.com, and I would be happy to place an order with you with the host code. So if which tell me which one you like better. I really like both, and I think... You can definitely do the coloring and it's really very pretty too. Of course, when you use the DSP, it's very quick and a little easier from that standpoint. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy stamping.